In this video, we will demonstrate how a member can view and make a registration using the Responsive Events module from a desktop computer. In the calendar, you can find events to inform you of upcoming activities or events where you can register on your own without having to contact the club. Use the search and filter options to find an event. To learn more about these options, watch the Responsive Events Search and View video. Type FIT in the search box and scroll down to see what's available. Today we will sign up for the ladies fitness class. Click the event name to see more details. In the event details screen, you will find info about the event on the left. This includes the name of the event, the date and time and location. The more info option will only appear if applicable for the event. Information found here can include category, age, gender and guest restrictions, early bird and regular pricing, and cancellation policies. Please note, pricing is for information only purposes. Payment will not be processed on the website. Others attending section will allow you to see other members that have already registered for this event. This will only be available if your club has enabled the others attending feature. On the right, you will find text, images, and links with additional information about the event. At the top, you'll find the left arrow to go back to the event calendar, or if it is a registration event, you'll find the registration link at the top right. Click register to sign up for the event. In the registration screen, you will see the same information found on the event detail screen on the left. On the right, you will find the booking registrant information. Since you are logged into the website, you will be in the first registrant spot by default. Each registrant will have to choose a registrant category. Events could be set up to have one or multiple registrant categories to choose from. Not all events will have pricing information. If it did, it will automatically total for you on the top right hand corner. Note, the price is for information purposes only and you will not be making any payments from the website. Your club will communicate with you payment options separately. Registration events can be set up in three ways. One, named registrants. Two, unnamed registrants. Three, both named and unnamed registrants can be added in the same event. This event allows both. First, we are going to demonstrate three ways a named registrant can be added, starting with add member. Search a member by typing in their first or last name. Click on their name and they are now added as a second registrant. Select the correct registrant category for this member. If you selected the wrong member, you can click the X beside the name to remove them. Next, let's add a guest. Note the add guest option would only be available if the event was set up to allow guests. Type in the guest's first name. If you select add, it won't let you continue until you add a last name. Type in the guest's last name. Guest email is optional. It is used to send your guests an email confirmation upon completing the registration. This will only be sent provided your club has enabled email confirmations. Our guest has been added to the registration and remember to select the correct registrant category for them. Another way to add a registrant is using Add Buddies and Groups. Buddies and Groups is a list of members that you like attending events with. Instead of typing in their names every time, you will be able to select them from a list. You can create this list using the Manage Buddies and Groups tab at the top. For more details on this, please watch the Manage Buddies and Groups video. Click on the member or group name to add registrants. That buddy is now added to the registration. Remember to select the correct registrant category for each named registrant. Unnamed registrants is simply a headcount so that the club knows how many people are coming. They do not need the names of each person. Click on the plus or minus sign to indicate the number of members or guests for the appropriate registrant category. Requests or notes box is optional for you to type in additional notes for the club. The button at the bottom would either say complete or continue. Complete allows you to finish the registration. Continue indicates the event is set up with additional questions to be answered before completing the registration. Let's click continue. The booking registrants will indicate the number of people that have been added to the registration. Use the left arrow to go back to change the number of registrants and registrant category. On the right, you'll see the total cost if pricing was set up for the event and the complete link will allow you to finish the registration after you answer your questions. 
Personal preference questions can only be asked for named registrants. The red asterisk indicates that the question is mandatory. Each named registrant will have to answer mandatory questions, otherwise it will not allow you to complete the registration. Notes typed in the previous screen will display. You can add notes or leave it empty. Click complete to finish the registration. The check mark and booking completed message will appear. You've now registered for the event. Scroll down to see your event details along with the confirmation number on the left. On the right, you will have the ability to update your booking. This means you can add or remove any registrants or change answers to questions. You can cancel the booking. Maybe you chose the wrong date and time. You can cancel without having to call the club. Email will generate an email with the confirmation details in the body of the message. So you can send to anyone you want. Viewing My Bookings will take you to the My Booking section. This will display upcoming events that you have registered for. If you leave the confirmation screen, you can always access it at the top of the page. For more details, please watch the My Bookings video. Another way to see events that you have registered for is using the Event Calendar tab at the top. The green check mark will appear beside the event name in all three views. In Month or Week view, the Cancel and Update options will appear after you click on the event name. You'll find the buttons in the top right hand corner. In List view, the Cancel and Update button will appear right beside the event name. The last thing to discuss is how to add yourself to a waitlist for popular events that fill up quickly. Let's go back to the event calendar and click on our winemaking class. There's a clock icon indicating that it's in waitlist mode. And when we click on the event, the button in the top right corner says add to waitlist instead of register. From here, all the steps are the same as registering for an event. And that concludes the video on making a registration using responsive events. Thank you for watching.